Welcome to Dr. Pamli's channel. And in today's video, we are going to learn about hematometra. Hematometra or the so-called hemometra. By definition, this is a collection or retention of blood in the uterus secondary to imperforate hymen or transverse vaginal septum. Remember uh, to differentiate hematometra with hematocorpus, which is uh, a blood field at the vagina and uh, it is usually due to imperforate hymen. I had made a video about hematocorpus. Kindly look at the description below uh, to find more details about hematocorpus. Now, Hematometra are caused by, as I've mentioned earlier, uh, one of the causes are uh, due to uh, congenital abnormalities and uh, the three of them are uh, imperforate hymen, uh, that is now the hymen which has no opening. Remember, hymen should be spanning around the vaginal area and when there is no hole, or that opening then during menstruation blood will not be able to flow out from the uterus uh, to the vaginal area so this is either due to uh, hematometra or hematocorpus number two we have what we call transverse vaginal septum uh, this is due to partitioning of the vagina either transversely or longitudinal as you can see in the diagram a condition called uh, vaginal hypoplasia vaginal hypoplasia uh, that is a, this is a situation whereby uh, the vagina can be very very smaller than the normal usual size of the vagina or the vagina can be completely absent can be completely absent so this one can cause hematometra other causes other than congenital abnormalities are uh, cervical stenosis whether this uh, whereby the cervix is uh, uh, narrow and thin and uh, there is also what we call intrauterine adhesions and this may be due to infection or even previous surgeries Cancer of the cervix also play an important role in the causes of uh, hematometra. Uh, complications of surgery uh, such as uh, endometrial ablation. Uh, this one is the removal of endometrial lining uh, due to uh, surgery. Uh, this one can even lead to uh, what we call hematometra. So, uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please click the notification bell, return subscribe, turn it on for more videos that we will post. Basically, how will you know that uh, a patient is presenting with uh, hematometra? Uh, that is uh, signs and symptoms. Cyclic cramping pain, uh, that is lower abdominal pain, uh, will be experienced uh, in most of the patient with increased urinary frequency and uh, this may be due to uh, the full uh, bladder and uh, maybe because of the distended uh, uterus uh, which may also uh, bring about uh, urine retention there may be dysmenorrhea for premenopausal uh, uh, women or uh, young ladies uh, that is painful menses and some will be presenting with absent of menses the so-called amenorrhea uh, the uterus may be firm and uh, enlarged and uh, this one may be felt uh, during uh, manual uh, palpation when you are examining the patient so uh, mostly this may affect 
young females or even an older female in their either premenopausal periods diagnosis of hematometra uh, is very simple we normally send the patient for obstetric uh, ultrasound and ultrasound uh, normally depict uh, blood pooled in the uterus we can even go ahead and do laparoscopy uh, the use of the camera to visualize the uh, female uh, reproductive organ just to see the presence of uh, uh, blood filled in the uterus in management of hematometra or rather what we call treatment of this particular condition normally is done by case by case hymenectomy is usually recommended for um, imperforate hymen and also there can be a dilatation of the cervix hysteroscopy can be done uh, to resect adhesions uh, secondary to previous surgery or even uh, adhesions caused by infections such as uh, STIs uh, made a video about gonorrhea and uh, chlamydia trachomatis kindly watch those videos because these ones can uh, 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 make the patient present with these adhesions we should be able to rule out cancer of the cervix and uh, this one biopsy can be taken for histology and uh, staging and also we can do what we call prophylactic antibiotics just to uh, get rid of the infection if uh, it may uh, present with also we can do even urinalysis just to make sure that the patient is not presenting with any urinary tract infection uh, advice to the general population is that uh, mostly patient presenting with either hematometra or hematocolpus uh, there are some traditional beliefs that uh, the patient might be cast or undergoing some traditional cast spell uh, let's be vigilant into this and uh, we advise the general population that uh, they should be able to bring uh, the young ladies uh, or the older ladies who are presenting with uh, cyclic cramping those who have increased urinary frequency and presenting with either dysmenorrhea that is painful menses or amenorrhea for a certain given period of time otherwise thank you so much for watching and if you love this channel kindly click the notification bell return subscribe turn it on for more videos that will post and my returning viewers and my new subscribers welcome again to dr pamela's channel see you in the next video muchas gracias